Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on how to use multiple pages in InDesign CS6. In this video, you will learn how to add pages to your document and use the master pages to manage them more efficiently. Most documents are more than one page, so inserting new pages is a helpful tool to know in InDesign CS6. To begin, find the Pages panel on the right side of the window and click on it. The Pages panel allows you to visually display and navigate through all pages in your document. It will also help you in organizing it. To add more pages, navigate down to the bottom of the Pages panel. There, you will see three icons. The middle one will be the one that allows you to add more pages. Each time you click on it, a page will be added to your document. To rearrange them, you can simply drag pages in the Pages panel in front or behind the other. When you want to remove a page, Click on the page in the Pages panel, then click on the trash symbol that is at the bottom of the panel and your page will be deleted. In addition, by default, any document you create has a master page. A master page is like a background that you can quickly apply to many pages. In the Pages panel, the master pages are located at the top next to the words A Master. Double click the master page you want to edit. It displays elements that you want to appear on every page in a document, such as headers, logos, page numbers, and footers. With careful planning, this provides an easy way to make layout changes to multiple pages across your document. To show you how the master works, I will show you how to add page numbers on every page without having to type each number in manually. Now, anything that I apply to the left page of the master will appear on the left pages throughout the whole document. The same will apply when editing the right page. To add page numbers, create a text box anywhere on the page. Then, go to the top window bar and click on Type. Navigate your way down to Insert Special Characters. Then, another window will pop up and you will go to Markers. After that, in the next window, you will click on Current Page Number. Then you will see the letter A on the master page. That just means you have successfully added numbers to all the left pages of your document. If you click on any of the pages, you will see that they have been properly numbered for you. This is only one of the many things that can be done on the master page. Now that you know how to add pages and use a master, you will be able to manage your documents in a more organized fashion. If you need additional help or have questions about these instructions, contact the St. Edwards University Instructional Technology Training Staff at training at stedwards.edu.